Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to deploy Open Lightspeed web server on CentOS 7. Now before we begin with the installation part and the configuring part of Open Lightspeed web server on CentOS 7, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding Open Lightspeed web server. Now Open Lightspeed web server was developed and copyrighted by Lightspeed Technologies. Now let us first of all know something regarding Lightspeed Technologies Incorporation. Lightspeed Technologies Incorporation is an information technology company based in New Jersey, USA that produces web server software designed especially for high traffic servers such as those of internet service providers and corporate data centers. Lightspeed Technologies was founded in 2002 by George Wang. Now this was a brief introduction regarding the Lightspeed Technologies who was the main backbone behind the Open Lightspeed web server. Now let us go something regarding the Open Lightspeed web server. Now let me tell you that before Open Lightspeed web server there was Lightspeed web server. Lightspeed web server is the company's core product a lightweight proprietary web server which is able to read Apache configurations directly. The software is commonly used together with web hosting and control panels where it replaces Apache as a web server. So which means that if you are configuring like Linux, Apache, MySQL or PHP, so rather than having Apache as between under LAM, you can even use light web server or even open light speed web server. It is available both for Linux, Macintosh, Solaris and FreeBSD. The latest stable release was 5.0 which was released in April 2015 which means it is about a one year back the latest version. The Lightspeed web server supports both SPGY 3.1 and the new HTTP version 2 network protocols. Now if we talk of something regarding Open Lightspeed, Open Lightspeed is an open source version of Lightspeed web server. It is licensed under GNU General Public License version 3 and Open Lightspeed versions are 1.3.7 and 1.4.4 which support HTTP Oblique 2 Draft 16. Now if we go on the main website that is called open.lightspeedtech.com slash mediawiki you can find Open Lightspeed is a high performance lightweight open source HTTP server developed and copyrighted by Lightspeed Technologies. Users are free to use, download and distribute, modify and open Lightspeed and its source code in accordance with percepts of GPLSense version 3. Now if you see the website it is uh, saying much more features regarding open light speed. You can see the following are the key features of open light speed that is called high performance and even driven architecture, super lightweight, minimal CPU and memory footprint, Apache compatible rewrite rules, user friendly web admin UI. So the current versions that is there is uh, 1.4.16 which is stable and 1.3.12 that is a legacy version. So click on this download you can find the download is available and if you want to have more information you can click on installation guides, configuration guides, administration guides and you can ask for more help. So which means it's an open source community, it is regularly developing, it is regularly evolving. So now let us start with the installation part of uh, Open Lightspeed server on CentOS 7. Now you can see that I have already started my CentOS 7. It's a fresh operating system which I have installed on VirtualBox. So let me log in with the root and let me give the password. So now you can see that I have started my CentOS. So here are the, you can say the commands which I will be using step by step and all these commands will be available at below the video. So before we start, like we do into Ubuntu that first of all, we have to update the repositories. The first thing is to update the, you can say install the repositories into CentOS that is called yum install epel hyphen release so that we can be able to crawl the latest web packages from the internet. So now you can see that the latest version is 0 of colon 7 hyphen 5. So let me press Y and press enter. Press Y for GPG key. So now you can see that it has been installed. So the next part is to install the repository of Lightspeed because why? This is not a version which can be easily installed by yum install open Lightspeed etc. You have to install a specific repository for making it installed. So let me go with this command that is rpm minus ivh this link. So let me copy this. And after the link is being crawled, after that we will be able to install the Lightspeed web server into there, into our CentOS version 7. So it has been installed. So now we have to install the two main components that is yum install open Lightspeed and the second is called MariaDB server. Because why? Because as we are installing the web server, it is having a strong base for the database server. So we are taking the database server as MariaDB rather than MySQL server. So let us paste it. So everything is latest over here in this video. 
and believe me open light speed is highly recommended especially for ISPs where there is a high web traffic and it is much more stable as compared to Apache web server so if you are hosting a uh, you can say a heavy website like a uh, songs or video based website where the traffic is coming and your website is growing with uh, traffic like a good uh, sense so it is better that to install open light speed web server so you can see that lots and lots of packages are to be installed so press y so it is about a 32 mb of size so let us download and let us install the packages so as i am having a very good decent internet connection it will not take much time so almost we can see that it has been downloaded and it will be installing after that so after it installs uh, we have to take a base for uh, PHP also because if we are doing some web programming so similarly we have the case that is Linux PHP MariaDB and OpenLight web server so good platform for uh, later students who are doing their projects into web development etc to use this type of environment and create their projects which will be more efficient and more durable and more uh, you can say uh, balanced enough so let us wait for some time yes so now you can see that it has downloaded 32 MB and now it is updating some packages and it is installing some packages so MariaDB server is installed so after that let us install with some PHP packages okay so now let us take this command that is yum install lsphp56 and lsppHP56 mysql so let me copy this and let me paste it so it is about 4.7 MB of size and after installation it will take 18 MB on my server so go for this so if you follow steps everything is going to be very easy and everything is going to be very smart So it is so it has been installed so now the next thing is to start with the process the first thing is to change the default administrator password for open lightspeed web server so let me take this command sudo space slash user slash local slash swls admin miscellaneous slash admin pass dot sh so let me copy this and let me paste it so now you can see that the username is there so username is admin so let me type admin and we have to provide the web interface password so make it sure that it is about six characters so let me type the password as one two three four five six and let me type the password again so the administrator username and password is updated successfully so now the next thing is to link the open uh, light web server to our latest php version so let me give this command so every command is available downstairs so you just have to copy and paste like i'm doing it so you can see that everything is going on in a proper manner so now the next thing is to start and secure our my uh, MariaDB uh, database server so the first thing is to use this command that is systemctl start MariaDB so let me paste it and let us enable that is MariaDB so now you can see that it has enabled the service so now what we have to do is to go with the MySQL secure installation. So we are almost on the verge for completion. So give the password for the root. So access is denied. So current password for the root is not being accepted. So what we have to do is to press enter. So the set the root password to press Y and now set the password. So remove anonymous user, press Y and press enter. Disallow remote login remotely, press Y. Remove test database, press Y. And reload privilege table, press Y. So this is how the MariaDB will be configured. So now we have to test the default interface. Let us start the service of LSWS status. And it should be enabled. So now you can see that the light speed is running with process ID 4256. 
Now what I have to do is to type the command that is if config and there is a command that is 192.168.1.102 is the IP address. So let me copy this IP address and let me go to my host machine. So let me give this command over here. Okay, so let me return back to the center. So okay, so let me open this over here. So let us open the web browser colon that is called 8088. 8088 is a port number that is for the main interface. 8088. So which means congratulations we have successfully installed the Lightspeed web server. So if you click on this hello world from CJ script you can see that the hello world is output. So which means that everything is working very fit and fine. So if you want to even test the PHP so click here to test and this page also shows that the open Lightspeed web server has integrated the Zend engine of PHP and everything works fine fit and fine. So everything is coming out very smoothly. So now what we have to do is to give the administrative experience so we have to change the port number to 7080 so again I type my IP address and I give the port number as 7080 so there is a trust and trusted connection so click on I understand the risks and click on add exception confirm security exception so you can see that the username has come so type over here admin and type the password as 123456 which we have submitted so now you can see that everything is uh, logged in and click on general to perform all the server resets etc and you can even go with configuration part you can find everything over here from general log tuning security external apps script handlers you can find that it is much more enhanced as compared to apache web server and i think so that uh, people should use this as compared to apache web server if you, if there is a high and reliable traffic is going on if you click on web console you can click on general you can click on even security so you can find that uh, it's very easy to configure and it is very good to work on with this open lightspeed web admin console as well as the open lightspeed web server so in this video i have demonstrated how to install open lightspeed web server on centos 7 so do like this video share with your friends and do give this a shot and try to integrate with this your project as compared to apache and mysql use lightspeed as well as mariadb thank you so much for watching this video